Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and we are back with another 10 um, best, not really the best, you know, the 10 bargain watches in my opinion for the upcoming AliExpress uh, 11, uh, <laughs> anniversary sale which is which will be happening from 18 to 27th of March 2024. So um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 different watches that I have reviewed in the past you know, few months. So obviously, I'm not going to be talking about watches that I haven't reviewed yet. So yeah, this is my just my opinion. And I think for the uh, specifications that they offer, they do uh, give a value for money, in my opinion at least, right? So um, at this point of time, I have no idea how much this watch will be discounted. So I'm just going to be talking just purely based on the listed uh, price here. But of course, uh, when, I, when it is closer to the sales period, I will uh, try to get the the, you know the closest um, of discounts uh, price discounted price that I can get and I will put it in the video description, description or in the video itself right so let's just start with watch number one which I don't have because I put it somewhere else and I just can't find it at this moment so the watch that I'm talking about is the Bernie of course I will be putting some pictures over here the Bernie T2576MS so this one is the version that you know some say that this is an homage of the Seiko SNK series but I obviously didn't didn't get that particular version I went for the uh, Zin looking dial so because I think I I'm, I just missed my uh, Zin 556 for because I've sold it like a few years back so I really wanted to get that back but it's really really it's quite expensive right now so yeah I'm, I'm guessing uh, why don't we just scratch the itch and get this burning instead so it comes on this uh, few colorways I think just two <laughs> just these two this is in looking uh, dial so we have this uh, full loom white dial and this black dial so my advice is go for the full loom version because yeah of course it is full loom and the price is almost similar and of course do not get it on the bracelet because based on right reviews in on the on youtube so they much more people there's many people reviews saying that that bracelet is horrible so yeah i ditch I I I'd go for the you know to, for the canvas strap, but I ditch that one and go for you put it some aftermarket strap or AliExpress straps on that particular version. So the price listed now is sixty six seven sixty seven sixty six US dollars for the uh, version without uh, bracelet, but obviously you can get it somewhere around fifty bucks. So and for me for a Seiko Seiko VH thirty one movement watch, that's definitely a bargain. So that's watch number one. Let's go to watch number two which is my quick wristwatch check today this is the addis dive myh6 so currently listed for about 77 us dollars but you are going to get you will be able to get it for around 51 to 55 us dollars so i i did i did got it for about 51 us dollars i think uh, this early, early this year or was it last year i just can't remember but for that money this thing is massive bargain in my opinion so <laughs> just just if you can compare this to right this is a huge monstrous big thing uh, 46 millimeters all around diameter 1000 meters claimed by Addis Dive but obviously I'm not going to be testing that out because I am not a diver but just for the massive you know that's for the for the watch that you get for the money <laughs> this is an awesome value proposition if you like big watches so yep seiko nh35 movement a ceramic bezel insert full loomed bezel insert and loomed um, indices and also hands and the loom on this thing is absolutely awesome and yeah and the design right so this is mimicking the some brand uh some micro brand called something something puck i'm not going to be mentioning any name and of course check that out guys an awesome beast of a watch so this is the second watch in my selection for this time around let's go to watch number three which is the Bowderi sea turtle right this one is also a great bargain titanium automatic watch for the money um uh, listed now 157 US dollars you can if you don't like this blue colorway you can always get it in uh, black green and even a bronze case version so uh, the price will be hovering around 149 200 I think 200 plus but for the money guys automatic 
titanium watch for less than 200 bucks definitely a bargain because of you know it of course being a titanium watch it is lightweight um it is it didn't came with any bracelet but it came with a, an excellent fkm rubber strap i just you know happened to swap it out to this um um silver silver nail nato strap and i think it looks cool but yeah awesome awesome night well with watch and for 100 around 150 bucks um right now it is 157 but i definitely you can uh, get a much cheaper price during the uh, anniversary sale so if you can get it for about what 130 bucks this is one of the most affordable titanium watch on the market today dive watch for that matter so of course um it's this style as a dive watch but it is it doesn't have the dive watch rating but still <laughs> for the money guys you just can't go wrong with this particular piece so this is the boundary sea turtle titanium of course automatic movement and the next up is the boltony s202049 which i have already sold so that watch that particular watch looks like the hamilton khaki feel automatic so uh, my friend saw it one day and he asked me hey man can you sell that to me and yeah uh, obviously i really wanted to keep that watch but because i already have the original Hamilton khaki feel automatic so i, I say okay just 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 um, i'll just sell it to you and we are good to go so 157 us dollars right now so you, yeah, basically you can get it for about 120 but for that money, you get a Seiko NH35 movement, a an awesome styling, not so not so bright loom, but yeah, enough for a you know uh, for a field watch. But yeah, it looks awesome. I think this is simply the best, one of the best uh, Boltini ever made, because I don't really like their other offerings. So, but this the particular Boltini is available in black and blue, mm, and yeah, for me the black is always the best color to get if you want to go for a field watch right so yeah that's watch number four which is of course not available here because i've already sold it right so um next up is watch number five i think so this one will be the hold on yep this is the chronos l6024 so when i did the review of this particular thing i said that this is one of the best um bb54 or much out there but some of you um some of the viewers say that hey it doesn't really look like the b54 main bb54 mainly because of this um super shiny um ceramic bezel insert but you know what chronos listen to your complaints guys so they've recently offered this particular watch with a matte ceramic bezel insert they've also uh had the aluminium bezel insert version and they even have the red aluminium bezel insert version which looks absolutely cool i already have this one so i'm not i'm not thinking of getting one but seriously if you are thinking of scratching your itch you just can't afford the bb54 yet get one of these because this is one of the you know most uh, affordable or excellent quality value for what value for the um for if you like this style of watch right of course 37 millimeters would look small on some wrist but i found out that i'm recently fond of um, 37 millimeters watches i just can't get enough of them so yeah when <laughs> you can see that it looks nice it looks really comfortable it feels really comfortable on my 6.75 or 17 centimeters wrist circumference and i think i'm going uh, moving forward i'm going to you know get myself more of the 37 millimeters divers in the future right so yeah let's just go to watch number six i think so next up is this 3tm military watch from merker so this one is a bit different because normally merker only put only produces um hand winding uh, dive watch and or hand winding um dry swatch but this time around they choose to make an homage of a certain a uh, certain military brand <laughs> can i say the word certain marathon right so that uh, i think they, they are homaging the marathon officer i think and but the, i think for me they've made an improvement because this one is 39 millimeters versus the marathon which is 36 and they've made this um luck width 20 millimeters versus the marathon 16 millimeters which is very very annoying because i just can't find I don't have that much uh, 16 millimeters 
uh, with strap. So, what do you get for your money? Um, let's talk about money first, right? This one will cost you 178 US dollars. I think it should be discounted during the next upcoming sale. I just don't know how much, but for that, you get a mechanical hand winding movement, which is really really good so the last uh, hand wind mechanical watch movement that i've had is the hamilton kaki field mechanical that one feels of course the the eta movement in the hamilton is feels much much better but this one is no slouch it feels not on par with the with the eta but still good in my opinion so um and yeah for me when you have a hand wind Mechanic, hand wind mechanical movement you just don't need the um the um screw a screw down crown so that is why this one has i think how much is it 80 meters of water resistance i think let's just uh, confirm that oh my god i can't see <laughs> i guess i can't see yep 80 meters water resistance so that is enough because even the hamilton kaki field mechanical only had 50 meters water resistance which is just, mm, quite annoying because that is a much much more expensive watch than this of course um 3tm the another unique selling point of this particular piece is 3tm so do tell me if you guys um found any other aliexpress brand under 200 bucks which features a 3tm tube uh dial right other than that uh the hideous looking eye lung thingy i just and EPOS, something like that. So yeah, those look hideous, but this one looks cool in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Anyways, that's just, that's, that's watch number six and let's go to watch number seven, which is um my, I think one of my recent, most recent acquisition, which is this Watch Dives WD1967. So you can see that the styling of this, immediately you can see that this is, this styling is mimicking the Omega, uh, I just can't remember the 300M I think so this uh, looks vintagey and they call they have the a version the, the black dial version which has lots more uh, options so the black dial version comes with a date no date and the date position on in the three o'clock and the six o'clock so I saw this blue dial on the website and said hmm, let's just quick let's just grab that one and see how it looks like and turn out and it turns out to be an absolute <laughs> awesome dial absolute awesome looking dial so yeah i've took out a bracelet and put it on this what do you call this bond clip style bracelet and i think it gives that um vintage look that <laughs> i'm searching for for this particular watch watch uh, kind of style uh, watch style so yeah 39 mill 38 millimeters on the case 39 on the uh, bezel and i think it looks just fine on my skinny 6.75 inch wrist so let's just um Cool. come on come on oh this yeah this is let's just put it on this and see how it looks like so putting on the bone clip bracelet is <laughs> gonna be a bit not really that tricky but yeah still it does require some effort but yeah once you get used to it you are good to go so yeah that looks cool in my opinion what do you guys think and yeah i think for um now it's this thing is selling for about 199 us dollars but of course you can get it from watch dives or watch uh, was it watch diver store factory on aliexpress or even on the uh, on their own web watch dice um, website but yeah since we are talking about um you know aliexpress sales here go get it from watch dive store from aliexpress right next up is the eighth choice for me is this san martin sm0106 so of course this model is i don't know why for me this is one of the most beautiful looking gotta go anywhere do anything type of watch it looks um how to say this um dressy enough to and it looks vintage enough because of the the com this dial combination with this this dial and also this uh, bits of fries side bracelet so <laughs> it looks really really cool guys i just don't know why other youtubers never mentioned about this particular piece but for me although the bezel looks weird but still this is the one of the most um beautiful saint martin that i've ever um featured on my channel and and yeah that is why it's still in my collection 37 millimeters slug to luck 46 millimeters and yeah very very cool looking uh turquoise or teal dial and i just love how this thing feels on the wrist and of course the price is a bit yeah maybe a bit not that expensive for a san martin at about 2014 us dollars but yeah you can get it 
for less than 200 bucks during the upcoming sales. So next up, the ninth watch for today is the Proxima PX1697. So this time around, um, the price has not changed. It's about 259, 260 bucks. You can get it in quite a lot of other dial options now. Um, I would always go for the white white style because it looks it looks so cool. But now they have updated the bracelet to feature a um, on the fly adjustment. So yeah, that's definitely a bargain in my opinion. So yeah, you, you can just pick other colors uh, you like. But still, for me, I'm, I'm I always go for the white one. So the other unique selling point of this particular watch is the case. You can see that it is you know. Mimicking so a, a British brand, so which I am not going to mention, but you guys know what it is. This case is very, very comfortable. And yeah, for a PT5000 uh, movement watch, um, you can get for around 211 bucks during the sale, I think. And yeah, that's definitely a bargain because you, because you do get a lot for your money, right? This is the PX1697 from Proxima. Next up is... Um, you've, as you can see here, there's no GMT watch yet, so I'm going to throw in again my <laughs> beloved SN0109. Right, this is for me uh, the most, the best looking um, GMT powered NH34 GMT powered watch on AliExpress because yeah, it has that unique, com not really a you know a familiar combination, I must say. So um, <laughs> I'm not a fan of the ceramic bezel insert. Uh, Pepsi dial or Pepsi version, which which with which which has those shiny shiny look to it. So I somehow prefer this um, aluminium bezel insert that is available on this um, uh, BB GMT homage watch. And yeah, the those GMT to, from to the is really really thick. This one on the contrary is just thirteen mil and just right size with at thirty nine millimeters so on and for and and it has this. Um, 24 click bezel which for me serve the purpose although this is not a traveler's GMT GMT is just a, an office GMT but for me it serves the purpose and I think simply if you want to go for a GMT watch you just can't go wrong with this particular piece so of course if you don't, if you don't like the black dial you can always go for the white um, ivory white dial and but for me <laughs> for day to day use um, I'll always i always go for this combo, which is cool. Of course, I've upgraded the the on the fly the class to this on the fly class uh, from Saint Martin. But yeah, standard it comes with your, your normal uh, Saint Martin class, which is excellent, still excellent. But if you wanna upgrade, this one will cost you around seventy bucks, which for me is a good upgrade in my opinion. Right. So that is watch number ten. And to to close this video, let's just do a quick loom shot and see how this. There was these watches perform under uh, UV light, right? So some this, for example, this tritium watch is. I I just can't can't show it properly because yeah, my my equipment equipment does not, you know, uh, enable me to do that. So let's just enjoy the light show after this, right? So so that you know what are you guys going to get if you get one yourself on one of these during the AliExpress anniversary anniversary sale. So you guys ready? Three, two, one, and boom. You can see, oh, there's a bit of light here, so you can see that the most, hold on, the brightest one should be the, the Addis Dive, right? Next, yeah, you know what, let's just, just go ahead and show them all. The bordery, mm, although the loom is unique, you do have that loom on the uh, dial, but it's not really that strong, you can see that. So, yeah, nice loom, but not that strong. And this one is the uh, loom on the, um, what is this, Kronos? L6024. This one is on the uh, Mercus. Check out that <laughs> that tritium tube, guys, on the hour uh, indices and also on the hands. So that looks cool, in my opinion. And this one is um, from the uh, watch dives. And surprise, surprise, this vintage looking watch, the SN0106. I just love this vintage looking uh, loom application here. And the next one it will be the uh, Proxima. Awesome loom, but the hands is not that strong. And last but not least, the GMT watch from San Martin. So it doesn't really need to have strong loom, but it does. So that is definitely a plus in my book. Anyways, so what, which one do you guys would like to get from my selection? So yeah, I think um, 
yeah either one if if you go for this one or the the other three that i'm not showing the other two that I'm, i i'm not showing here both for all of them are great option and of course it is i would really really appreciate if you guys can use my affiliate link in the video description below because that will definitely help the channel so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye